Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 battle for you guys today and it is the Siege of Athens and as we have here some Legionnaires of our own. Um, we have two Roman armies fighting off against two Athenian armies. We'll get this battle underway. Um, it was between myself and uh, well some other subs and decided to do this scenario. So we are using two mods I will just say now. Um, we're using somebody's um, Roman well unit expansion pack and also use the Greek one so there's some new units on the on the map um, one that I can definitely point out to you straight off the bat is this unit here cohorts uh, what are they speculatorum or whatever um, these guys are kind of pretty cool I don't I what are they they're medium infantry so they're not like heavy they're not like the toughest guys but they look really cool I like the uh, oval shields they look pretty damn sexy if I say so myself um, let's have a look at these boys. Oh, look at that. Can't go wrong there. And then they are certainly the only unit I can definitely tell are different. Um, I can't really tell whether the Praetorians are different because I rarely see Praetorians on the map. Um, I don't know whether these guys have been altered or not. Because everyone brings Praetorian guards. You don't bro bother bringing Praetorians. You bring Praetorian guards. But these guys look sli ever so slightly different. But even if they're not, they look goddamn awesome as well. Um, nice to see them back on the battlefield. So some units I can point out for you that um, are different with the uh, Greek uh, expansion. We've got, for Athens, we've got step archers. So they've got, clearly got some mercenaries from the nomadic tribes. These guys look goddamn awesome as well, actually. Um, we've got, what else we've got? We've got uh, Athenian thorax swords. We've got some, like, unique thorax swords. Um, these guys are pretty similar to the normal thorax swords. We've got, what else? We've got exiled um, successor pikemen. These guys are going to be really key. Um, in the battle, and what else have we got? We've got some Athenian hoplites. Yeah, these guys are another unique unit. They look very cool as well. I do like them. It's nice to see some different units. Just makes it up, make these uh, units more, uh, like give the uh, factions more variety. They, it's what they need. So anyway, guys, if you enjoy this battle, then please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and if you want to see more Rome 2, do, like, do the same. Another unit here, I've just found um, the Pro Manchoy Hop. I'm definitely butchering these names. But another Hoplite unit here. These guys look goddamn awesome. Look at those. Sh look at these boys' shields. They look so cool. Also unique. But anyway, let's get back to the battle in hand. So the Romans are about to hit the wall. Um, they're literally actually about to drop the siege towers now. Don't know why they're facing this way, but I mean, that helps with shooting them in the back. Um. Looks like the uh, Cohort Spectatorum are going to get there just fine as well. Quite funny that they decided to uh, abandon the Siege Tower. I hit it twice, maybe three times with uh, my uh, Greek ba uh, Ballista. And uh, then they decided, right, that's enough damage. We're not going to get that there. And it's not a bad move. Um, it was pretty beaten up. It would never have got to the walls. They'd have lost a whole unit. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is, that is a shame. What's the Ballista going for now? It's going for stuff all the way back there. Okay. Interesting choice. So they're trying to get some tortoises on the wall. They're um, going to just knock some holes in it. And uh, yeah, this unit needs to move really quick. They've got some thorax. Uh, I've got some thorax swords here. Um, they're about to get destroyed basically by this tortoise if it doesn't get a move on. And um, was that a really good hit? Oh, there was actually quite a good hit there by uh, the ballista, I think. I think that's the Isle of Ammo, though. They're about to go through this wall here. And that was gone in no time. So they're already a breach. The Romans are already through. And uh, they're having a, the same problem here, and this, yeah, this Thorax Swords unit's getting killed off, and it doesn't even, I didn't even realise. And there they go. So many poor Thorax Swords just dead down there, and there's a few left. Don't know how these guys technically died, because they are technically on the, uh, on the wall. But now we're uh, mobilising loads and loads of troops that we had, like, sat back ready. We did not realise they were going to knock through the wall so quickly. They've also got troops now on to, um, onto the walls. Some armoured legionaries up against some thorax swords. This should be an even fight. And hopefully uh, the thorax swords can hold out. They've got support of the arch towers as well. So that should help them get a few kills. Good to be back in Rome too. Good to see the, the legionaries back in the fray. Need to do some more Rome 2 replays. And if you ha if you guys have any. Please do send them into the discord. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Um... For you guys to uh, go and check out. And if you want to have your battles feature on my uh, channel. Then uh, send in some replays. Always can do with more replays. But yeah, it looks like these legionaries are slowly pushing back the thorax swords actually. It's getting some archer support from all the way back here. There's like a whole... 
battery of archers back here, various Cretan and Step archers, all just firing up on here onto this one unit of armoured legionaries, which are actually now losing decisively. On losing, they're just losing currently. And there's a lot of um, hot plates already in the like these. These are the very much the elite unit. These are the most elite unit now within the roster for Athens. If you use this mod, and they're going in first. There's a big decision here by uh, my ally to send in his most elite stuff first. He's got another two units over here, some Athenian hoplites. But yeah, these legionaries when they go through here, cohorts are probably going to go here through here first. And maybe these armored legionaries they're in for a rough time. Don't know why he didn't land up here because he could have easily probably overwhelmed here and he could have caused another problem. Definitely a mistake. I think, but now the Thorax Swords are now losing. But the Romans are coming through the breach. Here they come. They're going to fight some more Thorax Swords. Um, and that man's floating. Oh my gosh. What has happened? <laughs> he just Okay, he's ended up all the way back there. He's behind enemy lines. I mean, I guess if you're a supernatural man like him, you can just float and uh, get behind enemy lines. What a madman. He must be a, he must be a god, a demigod. I mean, yeah, it looks like the Romans are pushing through. I... Uh, Kind of a bit cheesy because I think we had like formed a shield wall here and they've kind of like just forced their way through. But I'm not really sure. They may be able to get around here. But they've, yeah, they're like pulling the unit through. And they're surrounding this Thorax sword unit. So we're having to send up, gonna have to send up some more guys. Did that guy also just fly? Yeah, this guy's, oh my gosh, this guy's like flying all over the place. That is so bizarre. There's another one there. So bizarre. So we're gonna have to send up some more infantry. Looks like my ally is sending up two units of Athenian Thorax swords that are gonna have to deal with the problem. We've got two units of Thorax swords here in trouble. The unit that basically died up on the walls and now uh, the unit that's having to fight in there. And it looks like we're gonna have. They've got some cavalry that was gonna come through. Oh yes, the Romans also now have cataphracts. So we'll have a look at them. That's another unique unit. Um, we'll see them in a bit. They're just very. They're quick. God damn, they're quick. Um, yes, here we go. We've got some uh, armored legionaries, a lot of armored legionaries, another cohort specta speculatorium. Speculatorum coming through. God, it's long. I'm just going to call them the cohorts. Too long is that second bit, but I mean, these are. Uh, these Athenian hoplites should hold them. They're in no real risk of getting through. I mean, they may be able to sneak through here, but I mean, they shouldn't be able to really. They might want to send up a second unit just to make sure. Oh, yeah, he's already got it already in position. It looks like they might go in soon. Yes, I mean, the Romans, yeah, they don't look that, yeah, this is their area that they could possibly break through, but I don't think they will anytime soon. Looks like there's more movement going on over here. We have pikes now already going up. The Romans, yeah, we didn't get quite in time to save this one, but the Romans are happily standing in this breach, and they're dying for it. We've got traps that are slowing them down as well, and we've got pikes already. Yeah, they're going to throw javies at us, and yeah, that's not so good. They're going to charge in stupidly as well. Brave Romans, but you'll die doing that. Yep. So they're already pulling back. So now we've got them in a really sticky position, which I really was quite happy I get managed this. Got them. So basically now this pipe unit's a bit far forward though because of the breach. Um, but yeah, it needs to pull back a little bit. But now we've got these uh, this whole choke point blocked off with two units of pikes, and the Romans. Yeah, they're going to try and take advantage. They're throwing uh, in some javies, and they're going to try and uh, take advantage that this flank is almost a. Uh, well, it's open, really, to just flank down and then you can just kill this unit really, really easy. It's a bit of a mistake by myself, um, but, yeah, we realised it and we realised that this unit's got to get out of there as soon as possible. I'm having to turn the unit. I'm trying to get it to back onto this building so they can't really be flanked, but the pikes has kept wanting them to change formation and do stuff. Yeah, now I'm like, I gave them the order to attack, and but no, they were just quite happy just to then shunt around here. So we're sending up some more Athenian thoraxes just basically to sort like, save these exile pikes. We're going to need the pikes because it's the only th real advantage we've got over this superior Roman infantry. And we've focused down with our battery of uh, archers, these legionary cohorts, and they got killed. But there's another unit now coming through, some first cohort coming through, and this thorax sword's broken, just like that. And there you go. This breach is now open. We've got some more um, hoplites in place, and we've got some more Athenian thorax coming up. My ally's sending up a lot of his stuff first. Coming a lot of his stuff. But now here we go. Focusing uh, like every guy in this small breach. We're letting them in a little bit just so our archers can almost focus them down a little bit more, get a better target. But now we can surround this unit. They said they've only sent in one. Are they actually, well, they've got some cavalry out here. They've actually got a lot of stuff. They are actually, yeah, we've got the, uh, the uh, pikes out here, but they are pretty beaten up. They lost about 40 men. 
Um, yeah, this pike unit, I didn't realize, but basically got focused down by archers and it's breaking. Um, a very silly move. I just left it there after they decided not to commit. We really So now we're deciding that we're going to fall back to here. We're going to let them come through these traps. And, um, and we're going to like, well, we're going to make them pay here, basically. This is going to be our defending point. So th it's going to be the points that we're really going to hold are here. We're going to try and hold here as long as possible. We're going to let them in because this is a huge, if they like mass a lot of troops here, this is a huge kill zone for archers. Um, and we're going to hold here, obviously. They're the areas we want to hold to start with. If we need be, we're going to pull back to places like here. And here we've already got troops ready. And then further back, basically down the streets, I've got some more troops ready. And the general for the uh, for the allies is all the way over here for some reason. Don't know why he's here, but he's he's clearly just defending the temple. He just needs to defend that temple. He clearly cares about it. But yes, the armored legionaries are now off the wall, and they're now surrounding this hot play unit. So these guys are in trouble. Um, and now there's Cav in here. And there's I think there was artillery. That was artillery, wasn't it? Just like flying in behind. But yes. And now yeah, all of a sudden these hot plays kind of get committed. Not really sure why uh, I did that, but they were quite happy where they are. But now the cab is free to get through, if it can. But yeah, some good volleys coming in from the uh, enemy archers. We've got some more uh, Athenian and Thorax holding up against some more first cohort. And here we go, the cab's going to get through. And now they can threaten our archers, because we've not got much back here. And our archers are now uh, very much in the open. We need to send up some more troops. These Thorax swords need to get over there. And those are actually those spears that were in the first... In the, there in the first place and need to go in as well. Here we go. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. These cataracts can be a bit of a problem, I imagine. With their sparthas and sparthas swords and lances. I mean, yeah, they should. These, yeah, these are elite. These are some pretty elite uh, spears. Uh, they're Athenian hot plates. They should be able to break these uh, these cav wherever they've gone. There's, yeah, there's not many of them left. They're already pretty beaten up. I've already sent in some archers because they've already run out of ammo, so... Yeah, so that's a worrying sign that we've already run out of ammo on one unit, especially when there's a lot of Romans left to kill. There's like... God, there's a lot. Um, we've already destroyed a couple of their onages. I didn't even realize we did this, but... Um, yeah, that's that's pretty major, actually. That's going to help a lot with them. Um, even if they want to knock down more holes, like... like I don't know where they knock them down. Maybe here. I don't know. There's not really many more places they can knock holes down. Ah, look at this. A little sneaky uh, siege tower. Clear, was it this the beaten up one? This is the beaten up one that they decided that they weren't going to send in. They've got a little sneaky special forces unit of armored legionaries that are uh, going to try and flank on round. That's very, very smart. So these guys, yeah, they're going to just like land very nicely. They can Look at them. They can just see out there. They can just see all the chaos going on over there. All the Romans. And here we go. The Romans are landing. You fools. Foolish Greeks. The Romans always have a, uh, something up their sleeve. And I mean, the R3 here is doing a lot of damage to these uh, exiled successor pikes. So I tell my ally, just get them out of there. They're getting focused down there. I'm sending in my pikes again. Um, because there's a lot of Romans here now. This is becoming a bit of a problem. Praetorians already in here. They're sending in some elites already. Um, but, I mean, to be honest, all their units, apart from those cohorts who are elite, they've got Eagle Cohort, First Cohort, Evercarty, Armored Legionaries, Praetorians, Praetorian Guard. The list goes on of all the elite units. And now they've got a good their own battery of archers here. These Syrian archers getting up, uh, getting ready. They're firing. I think they're shooting at... I don't know really what they're shooting at. Maybe... Probably these pikes. Yeah, they are. They're shooting these pikes here. Bit of a shame, but they've got they have got shields, so they should be able to hold off for a little bit. And they aren't in phalanx formation just quite yet. But yes, we now have an engagement over here on this uh, street. Uh, it looks like the thorax swords are losing. They're not even really like they're engaging. Not really sure what happened there, but my small unit of pikes is now going to have to go in and support them, getting a few little kills, stabbing them in the back with their little long pointy sticks. Get a few kills. Go on, you can do that. Yeah, very nice. Just don't overextend yourself. But the Praetorians are already in. That's not great. And we've got, what we've got here, we've got a beat up unit of Athenian hot plates. This is very weak. Rome really should push. Rome could probably definitely flank, flank round here, around this tree, and then they could really push. I mean, and then they cause a lot of problems because we have a lot of archers packed down here now. This is where the battery is of archers after the cav 
caused so much havoc. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the Athenian ally has now got his uh, unit off the wall that was here because it's no longer needed. The Romans have decided they're not going to just land here, even though they've got the siege tower literally up to the wall. Um, it looks like we're containing them here. Are these still the cohorts? They are. The cohorts are still holding. And yeah, this this breach probably seems like the most secure out of all the ones. I mean, they're really pushing through here. Like, the Romans needed to... I mean, look at the thin line of Thorax swords holding back these Romans, and they could just spill in after this. It is amazing. These valiant Athenians holding the line. Yeah, now we also... What do we have here? So, another thin line of Thorax swords. Just about holding. What have I got back here now? I'm setting up something. I'm setting up... What am I setting up? My Exile Successor Pikes. Okay, so I must have pulled them back for some reason. Probably because they're getting focused on my archers. But I'm now going to send them in to hold back this huge wave. Because these guys are breaking. And they're breaking quick. We're literally firing every arrow we have in here. Look at the amount of arrows going in here. There's, there's this huge mass of Romans that needs killing. And here they go. They got through. Where are the pikes? Oh, they're just in time. Just in time. But they kind of crash into our phalanx. And so quite a few of them have got in amongst the unit. And so this this pike unit probably is not going to fare well. But they are getting the long boy, the long pointy boys down. And they're going to get some. They'll kill some of these guys. Jeez, look at the Praetorians. Just go. Going ham. Fire every arrow you have, Greeks. We need to put every arrow into these guys as possible. I want to know how many kills the archers have got at the end. It could be It's going to be an insane amount, I think. Because they've definitely held off so many of their units. Fiery balls going off in the background there. What's going on over here? It looks... Where's that... Uh, let's see what that sneak unit of Romans is doing. Okay. Sneak unit of Romans is uh, basically... I don't know. They're kind of capping... Are they going to cap this tower? I've got a unit of archers over here that ran all the way over here for some reason because of the cavalry. And I didn't realize for a solid minute. So I've got some archers coming back. But we still haven't realized this arm... Armoured Legionary unit. A bit concerning. Um, but, I mean, there are bigger th problems at the moment. We are trying to hold this breach. Um, and try not let them spill out into the street. Because that's what we, no we don't want them to do. We don't want them to fall... Uh, we don't want them to, like, get into the city properly. And establish themselves. Give themselves a bit of a base. Because that's when the Romans will start to hurt us. And they can take it slowly and methodically. We've got to just make them force... Force them to keep rushing stuff in there. Having to send in archers now. They're already running out of ammo. A good sign. But yes, they're, uh, they're. I mean, how much stuff they got? They still got a fair amount outside the walls. Um, yeah, a fair amount. There's a fair few units of infantry. They've got some Trari. They've got Praetorian guards. More Praetorians. I mean, that's. Uh, they've got. Who are this? Is a four, yeah. first cohort. Jeez, I'm so sorry. I'm like had a bit of an aneurysm there. Um, and then they've got these cohorts are back. So they've got a few units left of uh, infantry, but most of their infantry is committed, apart from this unit over here. So clearly the Romans are uh, thinking, well, and we do have a lot of reserves of our own, which is a good sign. But, I mean, it looks like these cohorts, uh, not these cohorts, these legionaries are going to make a sneaky move. And our ca uh, capture point is here. Our main capture point is here. So I wonder whether they're going to try and go for that. And if they do, that's quite very sneaky. They do have like, it's like a countdown of 150 seconds when they capture it. So that could be the way they're going to do it. They could hold it with those legionaries. While the rest of their army occupies us here. But yeah, we've got a lot of lot of units in here now. We've got a lot of the Athenian hot plights. Those pikes are just about a break. They did their job. They held the line while we could find more reserves to send up. Uh, more Athenian hot plights. Um, and then the pro manchoi hot plights. I think that's how you say it. Pro manchoi. Yeah, that's basically it. We were able to send like... These pro Manchoy were over here, but they're not sending anything through, so we can just start moving reserves around. Because they're running out of infantry, like I was saying. They've got a lot, though, established over here. This is where they need to push. They have a lot of units of uh, infantry here. They have a lot of Praetorians. Yeah, various, either guard or just normal. Um, they've kind of lost their chance in pushing through. We've now got uh, Athenian Thorax Swords ready in reserve. I've got some uh, pro Manchoy up there. And we've got another unit of Athenian Thorax Swords holding the line. Um, earlier, when there was like literally like no... There's like some pikes and a few hot plates. That was their time. That's when they needed to push. But here we go. More Athenian Swords going in. 
And that's bulked that line up very nicely. They're going to have to get more men to get through here with more ammo. What are we sending up here now? More Athenian Thorax Swords. Um, oh, I think there is a, another very cool unit of uh, swords somewhere. Oh, these guys, here they are. Perius Guards. I've forgotten to show you guys this. These guys. These Perius Guards. They're pretty good as well. Um, yeah, they're pr actually, I think, one of the more elite units of swords that we can get. They look very similar to like some of the other guys, uh, like the Athenian Hoplites, but I mean, they're pretty good. They're my last reserve if I need to send them in. Um, really. I don't really want to have to send them in, if anything. I've got picked Hoplites. And this is when we realize that uh, there's an Armored Legionary unit going for our uh, for our capture point, and we have to send some stuff back. So we have the R2 generals going back, and I'm sending some Perius Guards as well back with them, and that should be enough to deal with those Armored Legionaries. So hopefully we can beat them there. But now there's more cavalry in here. And they've pulled through the unit again. I think they kind of went round. But they also did just pull through. It's a bit cheesy. But the Sokiai, uh, this is Sokiai Extraordinary. So this is a unit you can just get without the mod. And they're kind of being chased by some Athenian Hoplites. But they're not going to reach. They're getting shot slowly by, uh, by the Arch Towers as well. But yeah. I think they're also going for the main capture point. I think they're going to try and support their... Uh, their armored legionaries over there, but I can't be sure. I'm not quite sure that they may be trying to go for our archers because our archers are still doing a lot of pain to all of these Romans over here and the Romans um, on the far breach as well. But yeah, lots of archers going in now, lots of Assyrian archers going in. Um, a bad sign for the Romans, they've clearly used a lot of their ammo up, and uh, that's not good because if they could push through, then um, this, then they're gonna need that ammo for those final last stages. And they're sending them out now, so maybe they're not. Maybe it's just a misclick. But we've got Praetorians going in now. More Praetorians. And there's a little gap here they can push through. And they may do that. So we've got to send summon up. Come on, you brave, brave men. These hotplates aren't even looking the right way. That's how much they disrespect the Romans. Don't even care. But, um, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff sort of just almost hanging back. We're not kind of sending it in. Pro Man Choi. And this unit, what's this? This part of... Okay, this unit is, uh, like, not really committed. Apparently, like, one or two guys are in there, but, like, the rest of them are just hanging back here. Bit bizarre. Um, but, yeah, the cavalry, not quite sure what it's doing. I kind of blocked it off from coming down this street. It could just go round. But it is slowly taking casualties from all the arch towers. So I don't really know what it's going to do. So, yeah, I see what they're trying to do. They're going to try and block it off. So I'm, again, going to try and block off... The entrance and just let these two general units deal with the armored legionaries because they are slowly capping it it's now a race against time for athens can they get there and back and capture this in time or will the legionaries here we go the capture point is now in charge in rome's hands can the legionaries hold long enough i think they have to hold for like 150 seconds uh, the plan is i engage and then this unit's going to go around and surround um, really they should have engaged us further out because I think if we even contest it then it starts to go down but I'm not sure that might be wrong but I'm pretty sure if we contest it the timer stops we now also have a like a small battery of archers here because this is actually a really excellent spot now to focus down their uh, units they're like there's loads of Praetorians and stuff that were just sitting up here not really doing anything we weren't really killing many but we're softening them up for our infantry and uh, yeah we just Get in a nice little angle, shoot it down on them here. These Baleric Slingers are now our new target, I think, because they've got some ammo left. But, um, yeah, here we go. Some Javis going to be thrown by the Praetorians, possibly. Loving, like, the sun going off the sunset. It's beautiful. A beautiful sight. But it looks like the Romans have pulled through. Are they just... Yeah, it seems to be coming a bit of a common pattern. They seem to just be pulling units through. Bit cheesy. I'm not really a fan of it uh, as a Total War player. I... You can't really pull through a hot plate line if you really, in reality. But yeah, we're sending in more stuff. They can do it if they want. We're going to send in our exiled successor pikemen. No, I actually got their pikes up, which is a bit worrying. They really need to sort that out. Um, yeah, so these legionaries are now in the back line. A bit worrying. Eagle cohort, to be precise. So they're, they're not going to break anytime soon. Um, so now this whole area is now very much under threat. And... After this, there's nothing here to push them through. And the cavalry is now loose in our back lines. It's now killing our archers. Um, not a good sign. I have got some Pro Man Choi hot plates trying to chase them down. 
but it's cavalry. You're not going to you're not going to catch them. So they they get a nice little charge there. Kill about kill and neutralize our archers for a little bit. I mean, I think mine were nearly out of ammo. I'm not really sure about my allies. Um, but yeah, mine are breaking now. So they did kind of achieve their their objective. So I'm going to abandon this whole area because the cavalry is now running loose and it's still fa fairly fresh, just over half strength. Um, checking in on the armored legionaries. Yeah, they're not doing so well, I don't think. They're losing decisively. They've lost about 60 men. I've lost a couple of picked up plights. My allies lost even less. Yeah, these guys are uh, not going to last long then, it would seem. Look at him, the centurion there. Where is he? I've lost him already. The centurion holding the line, barking his orders. He knows death is imminent. But they're going to take as many goddamn Greeks down with them as possible. Defend their standard men. But yeah, there you go. They're already breaking. So clearly, defending the standard was not their priority. It was uh, their lives. Getting out. Um, so yeah, it looks like Rome is sending in its last dregs of reserves. It's got well, these, these, a legionary cohort that's very bad. They've got their generals left. They've got some archers. Their ballista crews. And some Syrian archers. And that's about it. But, I mean, they are actually nearly breaking through here. Some uh, Praetorians have nearly broken the whole way through. And um, that's not so good because these Athenian Thorax are now breaking. I'm sending up some more Athenian Thorax swords of my own. Um, basically, they'll hold them back. And that should be able to do enough. It's a fresh unit. They'll hold for a while. But, yeah, these Praetorians are nearly through. The Greeks might finally do it. Look at these guys holding on the breach here. They're like, yes, we're through the breach. We can do it. We're also levitating. But who knows? Who knows why we're levitating? We've seen a man levitate like... 20 feet in the sky already today. But I mean, yeah, the arch towers, they really need to start taking some of these arch towers just so they support them in the fight because they're like shooting and they're getting a, nearly a kill every go. I mean, that one did shoot a Greek. That's not so good. We'll not have that. But yeah, now the uh, Praetorians, I think they're trying to pull out, pull around our f formation. That's fine. I can surround them. And now we're sending, what is this? Perius Guards going up. All right, we're sending in the final reserves of our own. This line is just about holding. The Romans are nearly through. But we do have just a couple of units left of Athenian hot plates holding. It looks like the battle is going to be decided here at the walls, not in the city center. Um, whoever wins this could probably just either march on through to the city center or will hold the city. So Athens is uh, put, sending every last man in. We've still got our generals, luckily. So they're basically two fresh units of infantry. But we're running out apart from that. I think we've got... Maybe one other unit that's fresh. We're really running low. And we've got our archers, obviously, but they won't do much against Praetorians. Not much will hold to Praetorians, in fairness. Not much at all. I mean, these guys here. You see this? The Romans should really just send... I know it's generals. Well, send that archers through this gap here because the Romans have solidified this area here. If they send their guys through here, they can then surround. Because we're really just sending up... Yeah, I think this is per more Pierce Guards, and this is really it. They got their cavalry. Again, they pulled their cavalry through this hoplite formation. I'm not really sure if they went round, but they certainly engaged it for a bit and sort of pulled it through and around. And they're going to route these archers, but that's fine because they're out of ammo. Their duty is done. And there you go. I realize what's happened, and uh, these pro Manchoy will probably go and get them. If not, then I think now... Actually, this is a big threat. If they charge into the back of this, they may actually route most of this stuff. Because this is all really beaten up. And then the Romans might be through, finally. One final time. Come on, Romans. One final charge. These Soki are ex extraordinary. have been a real problem. Yeah, they're just... Okay, nice tree there. Um, they're charging through. Those archers kind of stop the uh, charge a little bit. But these pikes here, they'll, they'll route quite quickly with cavalry in the rear. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. But yeah, now we've got those Pro-Man Choi coming. They'll just surround these uh, cavalry. But there is now, break it, now breaking. It is the Step Archers, in fairness. But I mean, what else have we got? Praetorian Guard breaking. Um, there's just another unit of Praetorian Guard left. I don't think it's going to be enough to break through. We've got so many pikes. Like, units aren't even looking the right way in some in instances. It's just chaotic as hell. Chaotic as hell, but I mean, there's a pikes here now. They're, they're clearly running out of ammo, so they can't actually shoot these pikes. My ally did a better job of defending his pikes than I did. Um, he's actually survived for quite a long time. For quite a long time. 
Yeah, the cavalry's kind of like forced his way through. The general, one of the generals is now fighting here. Um, where is the other one? He's kind of gone back there. He's taken a few losses, I think, from arrows. But yeah, we've got more breaking here. It's archers going in. Um, that's never a good sign. What else have we got? More auxiliary archers breaking. Not good. Yeah, the general's really going to have to go in. It's one final throw of the dice, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't think Rome has enough. They've got the elite units, though, so there's anything can happen. But they, I do see a lot of breaking by the Romans. Like, lots breaking now. Eagle cohort going. I think they're just tired. They've been fighting so long with some of these elite units. And now we're nearly surrounding. Yeah, now we're pushing. We can surround these final Romans. With the sun setting. And there we go. We'll see these see these guys break. Hopefully. One final stand. And there you go. That unit breaks instantly. So it's a costly victory for Athens. And we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So I'd just like to thank Microsoft PowerPoint, Geller7 and Aiden for playing. Um, it was a great, great battle. Um, some great tactics. And it's fortunate for Rome. They couldn't get further into the sea. But... It was a solid defense by myself and uh, Microsoft PowerPoint in the end. Um, but yeah, anyway, some units did pretty well. Um, Paris Guards barely taking any casualties. We're getting 114 kills. So that's insane. Um, these Pro Man Troy Hot Plights dying, but getting a fairly good kill ratio. I didn't think I did so well with my pikes, but they got 271 kills. The best unit here, my Arch is getting 172 and 177. Very, very good. As I'm not surprised, these Arches definitely helped me. My uh, Athenian Hot Plights did okay. Held the line. Um, likewise with my uh, thorax swords and then my other thorax swords kind of just died on the walls kind of was a bit of a problem I think that happened like twice to us we had two units just caught out on the walls and my general did okay actually for 92 kills as well we'll have a quick look at Microsoft Power at point he got even more kills with his archers like three of his units like hit 100 very well done uh, so clearly step archers might be ever so slightly better than creature and archers or maybe just got better angles I'm not sure um, his thorax swords did very well, most of them getting over 100 kills. He brought a lot more of his uh, Athenian thoraxes than me. Um, he then brought, what else did he bring? He did also bring a uh, successor pikeman, nearly uh, getting 100 kills for one, and the other one getting nearly 150 kills, so they didn't do too bad either. And they survived, to tell the tale, unlike mine. His Perius guards getting 207 kills, they did excellent, and his pro man Choi getting 226 and 146. Excellent results there for him. So well done to him. Um, so there, we'll have a look at Gela 7. Um, he brought, well, he brought the Roman cataphracts that seemed to cause so many problems for us. Um, getting 78 kills. His um, ballista getting 56, did okay. His, he brought a lot of armoured legionaries uh, that did okay. I mean, to be honest, like the Romans were in for a tough fight. It was a really tough fight, but his Praetorian guy did very well, 169 kills. And these cohorts, this new unit that we've not seen before, 92. So not bad for a medium sword unit. I think they were definitely one of the weaker units on the battlefield, but they did pretty well. They held their own. Um, and then, like, his evil cohort, oh no, his first cohort um, didn't do so well. And, yeah, I mean, they did okay. I mean, 169 is a very good amount, 141. But I've seen, like, these units get insane amount of kills. And certainly his evil cohort didn't do great. But anyway, on to Aiden, um, getting... A lot of kills with his Praetorians as expected as well, 146 and 100, and 182 with Praetorian Guards, and 177 with his other one. And then his Eagle Cohort doing very well, getting that nearly 190 kills, it's very good. And his Cavalry getting 163, this unit was causing us the problem right at the end of the battlefield, a battle, and they, um, yeah, they got a lot of kills. Most of them probably Archers, but Archers are key in Sieges, and his Archers of his own didn't do too bad with 135. But anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this battle and you want to see more Rome 2 action, please do leave a like and subscribe. And like I said, if you have any good replays, please do send them into the Discord, which I'll leave a link in the description below. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.